Begin by opening Adobe Photoshop and create a new document. Press the D key to reset the foreground and background colors, then go to Filter, Render and choose Clouds. Next, go to Filter, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur. The amount of blur you apply here controls how smooth the final lines will be. A value of around 15 to 30 pixels is a good place to start. Now go to Image, Adjustments and choose Posterize. The value you enter here controls the density of the contour lines. Lower values give you fewer lines while higher values create a more complex result. For this example, set it to about 15. To convert these shapes into lines, go to Filter, Stylize and choose Find Edges. At this point, the contour effect should already be clearly visible. Select everything, then copy the artwork. Open Adobe Illustrator and create a new document, then paste in the artwork. Make sure the artwork is selected, then open the Image Trace panel by going to Window, Image Trace. Within the Image Trace panel, expand the advanced options, Set the threshold to 249. Reduce paths, corners and noise all the way down. Switch from fills to strokes. Turn snap curves to lines off and turn ignore white on. Turn on preview and check that the traced version matches the original artwork. When everything looks good, go to object and choose expand. Then go to edit and select ungroup all. Drag a selection around all of the lines and reduce the stroke weight to one point. Click away to deselect, then select a single path and increase its stroke weight to three points. Select a few more paths across the design and apply the same weight. This variation adds visual hierarchy and helps the contour map feel more natural and organic. You can also experiment with stroke styles. Select a path, set the stroke weight to two points, then enable dashed line in the stroke panel, enter 10 pixels in the first dash boxes, then five pixels in the gap box. This will create a simple dashed effect. Rather than typing these values repeatedly, use the eyedropper tool to copy the stroke appearance onto other paths, Hold the control key to temporarily switch back to the selection tool so you can quickly select another line. 